Hello, Cancer. Welcome back. Welcome to another Timeless General Love Reading. I do have to apologize for it being a little bit late. I had trouble with the last two videos, actually, getting them recorded and to you, but here we are. So I want to thank everyone <clears throat> very much for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing, as well as thank everybody that books private appointments with me, goes into the extended version, um, leaves comments, and donates to my channel. Thank you, everyone. I so appreciate everything you do for me. Um, now, this is a timeless general love reading. That being said, I just finished Aries, and there was nothing about love in the beginning part. It wasn't until we got into the extended side of the reading that the love partner or romantic person came into play. So no guarantees here, Cancer. I've never had that happen before, but it did happen with Aries. I Oh, it is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. It's definitely not going to resonate with everyone. It's not a bad idea, whether it does or doesn't, to check your um, moon and rising signs because it just gives you that much bigger overall general vision of what's going on at this timeline. Now this is, it is timeless. So um, whenever you're brought here to see it is when you're meant to see it. I am going to tag it with a timeline, but that is just for organizational purposes, okay? When you see this, it's good for four weeks out. Now let's get started. First card. Oh, by the way, this is Tarot Apocalypsis, this deck. All the other decks are listed below. Two of Wands. Princess of Swords. This would be akin to the Page of Swords in the regular deck. Eight of Swords. Judgment. The Hanged Man. Hmm. That is the center card and now becomes part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Ooh, nice. The All Gifted. Wow. That's a very special card in this deck. Three of Cups, another good one. So as we go through, it gets better and better. Wow, does it ever, the star card. Oh my goodness. And, oh, the sun. Wow, so this is, an outcome position. This is where you're at. Ish. Time is fluid, okay? Two of Wands. Where you're at, where you're headed, part of your overall energy combined with, oh, the tower. That's okay. That's okay. I know what the tower is about in your spread already, and it's, it is part of what brings you all of this goodness down here. So we're not going to worry about that. We will work through that together. So give me a minute to just take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Um, it would appear that you are going through an awakening and ascension process, or you're about to, okay? Um, the hanged man... In this deck, the hanged man, the meaning of the hanged man is a little bit different than what it is in the regular deck. So in this deck, it's about giving something in order to, to receive something. Or, you know the saying, if you love something, set it free. If, it's, if it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. It's letting something go in order to keep it, right? So... 
that's what the hanged man represents in this deck. It's all about surrendering. Surrendering. And the tower. In this deck, the tower is, um, again, it's a little bit different than what it is in regular decks. And what it represents is you gaining freedom um, through through I'm trying to think of the word here um, it's about breaking down your exterior and that gains you freedom look at this underneath it <laughs> Den of Pentacles. And then you have the Magician. Oh my goodness. So, Ten of Pentacles in a love reading is all about long-term romantic lover. So again, like Aries, Aries might be your person. Because Aries, it was basically the same thing. You need to get through this, this phase of the awakening and ascension process before you can come together with that romantic partner. And this is the annihilation of your persona. It's the breaking down of basically who you are as this earthly person because you are about to step into your spiritual side, okay? So, um, that's what it comes down to. You're on a new path. You're moving in a new direction. And that is what this new direction is all about for you. All right, this deck, this Princess of Swords, she is, I believe her name is pronounced Sega. She is the goddess of knowledge, and that is where you're headed. It, look at above her. Look at that white light about to hit her, the top of her head. She's battling the dark forces right now. Look at those black birds coming at her. She is battling, and look be, beneath her. Come on, camera. There you go. Look how dark it is. Dark and stormy. Rough waters. So, this is what you're embarking on. You Now, for some of you, time is fluid again, okay? So, some of you have gone through this. Others of you aren't even aware that it's coming. And then there's the other group that's in it, okay? But you are embarking on a new path. And to get on that path, you have to fight the darkness. That's what this comes down to. That's what it's all about for you. Um, not always the easiest thing to do. But again, it's about gaining the freedom. It's about busting through your hard outer shell, your earthly guard, if you will. And that's what the Eight of Swords is all about. It's about freeing yourself, right? And in this deck, if you look at it, this guy, he's tied pretty tight. So um, it's not going to be so easy for this guy to free himself from the bondage that is his current world, the, this darkness that he's in at this point in time. But the Judgment card, now I want you to take a look at different areas of this card. You see down here, these people have just gone through the storm. They're exhausted. They're not sure they can go any further. These people here were in the same boat. They're now in the next phase of this where... They're not in the storm anymore, and they, they're still exhausted, but not as bad, so they've been able to pull themselves to shore. Then these ones are contemplating. 
What the hell did I just go through? Look at this poor guy right up here. He's just coming into it. And he looks like he thinks he's about to drown. And sometimes that is how it feels. But look where you end up. She's flying. It's so beautiful. Once, wow, once you, <laughs> the card flew. Once you start to go through the process, and that's what the tower is here for. The tower is here to um, kind of force you to go through this process. Because if we had a choice, if we could feel what the process was going to feel like and had a choice to go through it or not go through it, seriously, <laughs> I know I would have chosen not to go through it. Now that I know what it's like on the other side, once you come through those dark times, absolutely, I would move forward, right? So you have to surrender in order to find your freedom. And that's what this this awakening is is about for you, that this phase of your awakening and ascension. That's what it's about. Now, the all gifted, I need to read that for you guys because that is an odd card, but beautiful just the same. Okay, this is Pandora. It says, the search, the question, the origin, the destiny. This is all about um, the grooming. It's, it's all about what, what's involved in the grooming of, of us spiritually so that we can get on that path and move toward our destiny. And it's called the all gifted because you will. You will be gifted. We all are gifted. We just don't see it. But you are being taken to clarity where you most certainly will know that you've been gifted because it feels amazing once you come out the other side of these, um, these dark periods. But then, like I said, you come out of that, you're in the Three of Cups. This is all about a reason to celebrate, right? So you come out of it and you're happy and you're positive and everything feels great because it does. You go through something like this storm down here. Yeah, you, you manage to come out the other side of that unscathed, so to speak. Come on, camera. You can't help but be here and want to celebrate. Now the star card here in this deck, it's, it's all about um, being enlightened. It's about that little bit of clarity that comes through and gives us hope and faith to move forward into the next the next phase that we need to move into, right? Now the sun card here, it also is different in this deck in that it still represents beauty and happiness and greatness and everything because, I mean, look at it. <laughs> this guy has everything. He's got it all. But what it represents is Mysteries that cannot be understood through your feelings. Male. So this is um, masculine energy. Okay, this is the masculine side. This is all about um, working through your masculine energy and not being able to understand things through emotion, through through feeling, right? This is this is about thought processes. Oh, that's not where it goes. It's about <clears throat> thought processes. It's about the thinking side of things. It's about 
trying to gain an understanding through thought because working on our masculine side or our masculine energy we just the masculine does not function from a place of emotion the masculine functions from a place of intellect now some of you are needing to move out of your masculine energy i think majority of you are are trying to um function within your masculine energy okay you're trying to learn how to um, deal while in your masculine energy or deal with uh, people and, and situations in our surrounding environment that are in their masculine energies, okay, their masculine forms, because it's, like I said, the masculine does not function from a place of emotion. The feminine does. So women will have a much easier time connecting to their feminine self than they will their masculine. M masculines will have a much easier time connecting to their masculine energy because they function from that intellectual place rather than emotional. But switch it up. Feminines trying to work through their masculine side or energy, it's not going to be as easy because it's not the known to the feminine. Um, just give me a second to see if I need to read this in any other direction here. Okay, going in this direction, um, the Eight of Swords, this is all about being stuck or stagnating. And when you're going through an ascension process, another dark night of the soul time, or, you know, I call them dark spaces. When you're moving through that, you truly do feel stuck. You feel like you're spinning your wheels. You just, you have no clue how to move forward. You don't know what it is you need to do, should do, supposed to do. So this is why we end up feeling stuck in these situations. Spirit is telling me that the way you get unstuck in this phase of your ascension process is to surrender, let go. In order to have the things you want and the celebration and the committed relationship that you want that is coming after, right? That comes after you get through this phase, this process. You need to surrender. Surrender to spirit, God, source, your inner being, whatever you want to call it. It's all about moving through life the way you're guided to move through life from a place of happiness, positivity, not negative, no negativity. You've got to let go of the negativity. Any negativity that you might have, that's got to wash away. It has to. Don't fight. She is fighting off the darkness. She is um, resisting by doing so. Don't resist this process. Don't resist the, the, the need to surrender because that's what's going to bring you the clarity and the enlightenment and the hope that you can get unstuck and move forward. Okay? Don't resist. Meditation, a lot of people don't understand that meditation, all it does is stop thought. Because in stopping all thought, you're stopping resistant thought. Because 
living on a planet that functions from the law of attraction, resistance only creates negative energy because resistance is negative. We need to flow. We need to surrender. We need to move forward. We need to allow. That's what this is all about. It's all about you getting to a place. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't show you these cards when I talked about them, but this overall energy here is all about the breakthrough. You breaking through your earthly confines and tradition. No, tradition isn't the right word. It's, it's the way of humans. You're needing to break through that so you can get to a place where you can surrender and just trust and feel free to move where you're guided to move without fear. Right? Without the fear. This is what's causing you to be stuck. You're fearing. You're fearing this, this breakdown because it's all you've known. Up to this point, it's, it's all we've all known is the human way. And you're having to, the term is annihilate. <laughs> annihilate your own exterior so that you're not guarded anymore. So that you can open up and let go and surrender and not resist the beauty and the gifts that are coming your way. This new direction you're taking, if you allow it to move, if you allow yourself to move forward and go with the flow, you will master. You will be able to master your masculine side. The intellect. It's about thought control, right? That's what this represents for me, the sun card in this deck, because the masculine is all about thinking. It's, it's thought processes. It's belief systems. It's head over heart decisions. And what you're being asked to do is It's kind of twofold here because part of the process is having to let go, definitely, and go with the flow. But in doing so, you have to control your thoughts and your emotions because it's all about positivity and happiness and joy and bliss and love. And so you have to control your thoughts, right? It's about you mastering your masculine side. And your masculine side is all about thinking, getting caught up in your head. You don't want to do that. You want to control your thoughts. Because if you can get to that place where you can control your thoughts, then you are manifesting everything that you want into your world. Everything. Your thoughts are the electrical impulse that you put out to the universe. Your emotion, on the other hand, your feeling inside of you, the emotional feelings that you get that accompany those thoughts, that's the magnet, Cancer. That's what draws to you. So if you have a thought that makes you feel bad emotionally, then unfortunately the universe is going to match that vibration, and that vibration is negative. So more things are going to come into your life that make you unhappy or angry or sad, and that is lack of abundance, lack of love, lack of finances, lack of happiness. You have to show the universe that you don't have a lack. You have to feel 
as though you don't have a lack. You have to think about what you want. Feel like you already have it. Feel what you would feel if you had it. Picture that brand new car in your driveway and you look out your window the first time and see it there after buying it that day. What does that feel like in your solar plexus chakra, which is just above your belly button, just below your, where your ribs come together? Because that's where your inner guidance system will guide. That's how your inner guidance system guides you, okay, through emotion. And you'll feel your inner guidance system through your solar plexus chakra because that's where it comes through. And so if you can attach a happy, happy, loving feeling to a good thought and keep it, milk it, that feeling for as long as you can, that builds up the momentum going out there to the universe. And the longer you can feel happy, and satisfied the more good things come to you and the quicker they come and the higher you ascend the bigger the bounty is that comes in so you have to let go this is like I said this is kind of a dual type card because you have to let go of your beliefs your belief systems. Your beliefs are only things that you continue to think over and over again. Okay? So it's about, again, control. Because it's about giving up the beliefs that are no longer serving you. That's what surrendering is all about. And after you, after you do that, then it's about controlling your thoughts and your emotions. Now, I still don't feel like I need to clarify. I think it's all very, very clear. But you are definitely on your way to being gifted. And I mean gifted from every level. Gifted in the way you think, the way you feel, what you know, what you're capable of, what you can manifest into your world, the money, the love, the happiness, all of it. You are about to be gifted. And, like I said, that partnership, it's coming. You just have to get through this first, okay? And maybe your partner is Aries, like I said. Okay, we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card here. Please and thank you, angels. Okay, you got more than one. Lucky you. Okay. I'm um, being told to look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> yep. That would be why. Expansion. Look at the butterflies. Wow. You definitely are going through an expansion and a transformation here. Another stage, another pro another stage in the ascension process. Okay, these cards, the numbered cards, there's about half of them in the deck that are numbered, and it's because I kept seeing these numbers quite frequently, and I wanted to know what they represented. So I asked my angels, and this is what I got. So 1113, if you're not already seeing this number, you might start seeing it. You might not. But the advice here is divine guidance as requested. So when you see 1113, you need to know that the divine guidance is here as you requested it. It's on its way. It's either right, right there, right then, or it's about to appear, okay? But you've asked for help and guidance, and it's, it's coming. The next card... This is a beautiful one. 333, your angels are by your side. This is all about ascended masters. And you are being helped. You are being guided for sure. Absolutely, you're not alone. We're never alone. You've got your inner guidance system. You've got your soul. You've got your outer guidance system, which would be all of your 
your angels, all of the loved ones that have, that are no longer here in the physical. Okay, now, a Just Ask Oracle. What else? Thank you, angels. Oh, be true to you. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is a part of the ascension process as well. Be, be true to you. Stand in your true, authentic self. Don't give a patootie about what people think. And this is about you moving in your direction, not the direction anybody else thinks you need to move in, okay, Cancer? This is, you're in a place where you're having to develop a very strong self-love because with self-love comes self-worth, self-respect, and the ability to create boundaries with loved ones in our life. And that is really important for us to... Um, move forward and gain what it is that we want to gain in this world and and help people right so definitely be true to you that is that is the best advice i'm just listening for more messages Um, they want me to go this way for you. Judgment to the hanged man, to the all gifted. Going through this shift, this stage that you're in right now in the ascension process, when you surrender, not if, I was going to say if, but they, they corrected me because you will go through this process. This isn't like a, you know, <laughs> this is not about you, you choosing this. This is about you having to go through this, you learning this, you um, surrendering to spirit, to the guidance, okay? So when you do, that's when you will be gifted. And they're connecting it to the star. Because when I lay the cards out this way, the cards that are next to each other play off of each other. And every card just about, you know, there's a connection, right? It doesn't matter how you go. But they brought me back to this. So going through this process you're going through right now, allowing the process to do what it's meant to do and that is taking you to a place of surrendering and just going through it because it is trying to make you the all gifted and enlighten you bring the clarity that you so want and need to move forward to get out of this this feeling stuck phase, this trapped phase, the, the bondage of earthly life as a, a human being, because there's so much more for you waiting spiritually. This, at the top of this pile, look at these people. They are so happy, so free. That is so opposite to where you're at. Right? So work through it. Surrender to it. Know that your angels are by your side, guiding you, directing you, helping you out. Okay? You got this, Cancer. But if you need help, okay, because you're going to have to have a very focused, aware energy to go through this and come out the other side. And to be able to surrender. Going through a tower moment is not simple, not simple at all. So if you need to know what it is that you need to do, be, think, and or feel to make your way through this stage or this process that you're going through, 
click the link below and we'll get some guidance from the angels, okay? Those of you that are going to the other side, I'll see you over there. Those of you that are not, thank you so much for supporting me by viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.